What up, gang, gang, gang? This is your boy C Spec, man. I'm out here with a Chevrolet C10 Silverado. You already know what time it is, man. You know, I'm trying to come to you with these videos, let you see what I got going on with my truck, man. And I've been, I've been busy with it. I've been getting things done. All right, so we still got the big 2500 out here. As you can see, it's right there. Still doing what it do, chilling. And we still got the bins over here. It's resting in the garage right now, as you can see. It's a little dirty, man. It's a little dirty, but it's relaxing. It's chilling, all right? And we still got this motor here that's going into the C10. Unless I can find another motor that's got everything done to it that I want so I can get it into it. But, you know, I just trying to minimize the amount of work that I have to do, man. That's all I'm trying to do, but it's one thing at a time. First thing I did, I got these wheels on here. And if you don't see that on the previous video, based on the time it took me to get it edited and uploaded, then you're seeing it now, okay? Yeah. yeah. Hmm? Okay, stop eating. Okay. Yeah, go put them in the um, cabinet so you can have them for later. All right, gang, so as you can see right here, I got the, the rims, the ones we originally saw that were black. Uh, we powder coat Illusion Cherry, a Primastic, Primastic, Primastic powder coat. All right, so we got that taken care of. We ordered another lip for this wheel right here. And this was the one that had the, the bad lip. So we had to get another lip for it. Got that taken care of. All right. So I cleaned up under here yesterday, getting up, rid of all this pollen and stuff that was under the hood, man. It was looking so bad. I checked all my spark plug wires. I found a wire on this side that was burnt. The one right there beneath those, um, beneath two and four. Huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, gang. So this is what we got going on now. Upgrade right here. This is what we got going on right now. Got new fans for the Chevrolet C10, okay? So I already got a big four core radiator in here, dual electric fans. But keep in mind, I got this kit off of eBay. So I pretty much just paid for the electric fan for the own big radiator because these fans are only 85. Not even 85, they're 80 watt fans, okay? They don't look that big. I mean, when I first got all this, I was like, oh my God, yeah. I got dual electric fans, big, nice radiator and everything. But in actuality, they threw the cheapest fans on there that they could find, man. It's the cheapest fans they could find. That's what I got on my four core radiator. So when I'm sitting in the drive through my truck is overheating. It overheats in the drive through guys. Anytime I'm sitting in traffic, the temperature slowly creeps. It don't go rapidly. As soon as I get momentum going, it goes right back down. Okay, so that pretty much lets me know those fans aren't pulling enough air to keep my truck cool. Okay, so look what we got here. Dual. 265 watt fans man dual dual 11 inch fans okay so we got to get these babies thrown on there real quick like so you can see and we'll pull it out and let me make a comparison so you can see what this looks like compared to the other one as you can see the shroud on this one looks humongous compared to the shroud that we currently got right here so we're gonna have a lot more room to get some good suction going on guys so let's get to that let's get to it Again, check it out man the quality is already extremely noticeable with this product i have in hand compared to what's currently on my vehicle got right there compared to what's currently on the vehicle as you can see that look at the thickness there this is what I got here this is what I got now Girl, guys we're about to be pulling all kinds of air up out of this radiator I'm telling you I'm thinking one fan will be enough to keep my radiator cool okay look at the width of these things humongous everything just looks so much bigger man so, let's get this stuff pulled up out of there. All 
Okay, check it out. I got the radiator out. What I'm gonna do is I gotta show you real quick. I wanna make sure I got a good fit, so I'm gonna do the most that I can. To try to make sure this random radiator shroud and a radiator combo by Darrell fits just as good as the one that came with the radiator. So I'm gonna be working on that, trying to get that sorted out. And all right, we can back. All right, guys, check it out, man. It's some some days later, like a lot of days later. Okay. All right. So, anyway, I don't. This is a top end, man, on my engine. But look past that. Beneath it, you will see it sitting on the previous fan shroud that was on my four core radiator. But as you will notice, the top part has been cut. Okay. And the reason I did that, you know, you go, you see the, the fans, the watt fans, and messing your guns. Give me, man. Give me. But, hey, as you can see right here, yeah, I got some things torn apart. We got to get this can in here and just work on that. But, all right, so I left out the part where I finished showing you guys how I did the radiator install, man. All right, so you might have seen where I got the radiator in in one of these videos that's up, or maybe this one, I can't remember. But, check it out. So this is the fan I got it installed on the radiator. It was almost just right as far as size, man. Except for that little bit down here at the bottom, okay? So what I did, I cut this off the bottom of the other one and I put the little plastic that came with it on top of this, beneath that, and use the brackets to keep it in place, which I put right here in the middle. So just secure it to that and screw it in right there at the bottom. And you can see where it's secured right here at the top. So everything worked out just perfect with the install of that radio. All right, gang, so other than that though, these fans cool my truck like a mug, man. As soon as they kick on, you can see the temperature dropping. It pulls it right on down to the set temperature on my Fitech unit and they kick off until it reaches that temperature again and then they cut back on, man. Them things are powerful, man best purchase I've made. I don't know why I haven't did that in the, already, but it's done now. So I'm going to get this out. And after that, we're going to get this cam thrown in, man. I got to make room for that cam. So I got to take this um, condenser out, disconnect these transmission lines. But that's a separate video, man. This right here is on um, conclusion of my radiator fan install. So, but yeah, man, we got to get this baby chopping, man. Fan installation of success. I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna it back out again. And I'm getting these cams, start getting this cam thrown in, man. Got my cam over here. Got big white over there. C63 over there. A little blackie up there, a little sleeper. And of course, you know, my Chevy, my Chevy, my C10. Let me give you guys a side shot from the distance, man. Just see this thing look like, man. We ain't playing over here, man. Check it out right there, man. Bug, man. Sitting on them 22s, Asante's, powder coated, cherry, whatever that cherry is called. You look at my other video, previous of these, and you'll see where all that took place. But yeah, man, that's it, man. That's the, that's the video right there, man. I appreciate you guys checking in. This right here is a can I'm throwing in. It's that El Rock from RPM. So we're gonna get that thing put in there. And this is next, man. We're gonna tear this thing down. I'm gonna replace some things on it. We're gonna replace these exhaust manifolds. I'm gonna probably go with some different heads. And of course, all the rotating assembly stuff, like the pulleys and everything like that. And I'm gonna find something to put it in, all right? So my truck, I ain't gonna put it in the truck, guys. My truck got a 5.7 and it run good. I'm gonna throw that cam in it and let that stay in there. And we're gonna find something for that, so. Stay tuned, gang. Stay tuned, man. This is your boy, C-Spec Kurt, man. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep stuff coming to the channel, man. This is your boy, man. And I'm out of his piece, man.